shiny sizzle. Yeah. About not uploading for three weeks. I have no good excuse for not uploading, okay? I'm not even gonna try and make up one. Well, unless you count school, getting straight A's in school. Yeah, I do have straight A's, but yeah, I'm pretty much a nerd. But anyway, yeah, I haven't uploaded in three weeks. You're welcome. Now you know what torture feels like. Uh, Tetra's gonna be annoying as an awful lot in this dungeon. With her weird gossip stone. And I do post live narration, so I didn't think about how long it was going to take out of the video to be doing this. Well, I'm trying to narrate. Ugh. But a couple other pointers that we're gonna be doing in this dungeon. You're gonna hide. You're need. You're going to need to hide underneath boxes. Or they're not boxes. They're barrels. And I am itching my nose, and I bumped the microphone. How fascinating! But here's a collection screen that I really crudely made up. It should show up in a couple seconds. Show up. Show up. Get on the screen. Ugh. Thank you. Okay. So we get one piece of heart and the usual dungeon map and compass in this dungeon. No small keys, no big keys. Here's a map. You can look at it. Yeah, there you go. So, grab these two red rupees. Remember, red rupees are 20 rupees. If you're poor and you didn't get the 150 rupee like you shouldn't have, you definitely shouldn't have gotten that red ru or that orange rupee underneath your grandma's house, just like I did. I really shouldn't have done that because that's a good thing to go get when you're gonna go pay Tingle of some odd uh, 3,958 whatever rupees to go and make him decipher your Triforce charts. That's a good place to spend your 150 rupees. But I got it anyway, so I have 200 rupees right now, and. I don't need all those red rupees, which would have been really nice for me to remember. And this room is full of miniblins. Miniblins, miniblins are among the two most annoying things. Anna Montana, and that other thing that I just forgot. Hmm. Anna Montana and Octagoombas, that's what they're among. Those are the two most annoying, three most annoying things in the world. Anna Montana, and... Octagoombas and Minibugs. Three most annoying things in the world. Excluding Justin Bieber, of course, but yeah, I don't like a lot of pop music. Sue me. I don't care. So yeah, I don't have this route memorized, so oh I almost just died right there. I don't have this route memorized, so. I'm going to be doing a lot of cutting out because I went the wrong way and passed the piece of heart here three times. Count them three times. I counted them and I passed it three times in a row. Yeah, that's really lame. And now for my next impression. Myself. So, we're going to be going up here. Smash the spotlight. You have to smash all... I think four, maybe, th probably three. Ugh. I think there's four, maybe. I don't know. I think you have to take out three. Or do we have to take out four? I don't remember, because I usually forget about this one that we're about to take out right now when I play this game. And then I am, like, wandering around trying to figure out how to get up to it. So just kill these monsters. They'll target, and then yeah, that's that's how stupid these monsters are. They push the go up and do Hollywood spotlight button before they come and attack you. So I'll throw the pot at them, then hit them once or twice. They should not Not gonna spit right out of their mouths. So there's one. Oh yeah, they give out one rupees. 
they're just too poor, so they can they join Ganon's army. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. That's one of three. Ah, oh, I wish I knew how many. I think it's three, but I'm just gonna say three. But anyway, that's one of three spotlights you're going to be taking out. One down, two to go. Over here is the map thing, dungeon map, that's what it's called. Yeah. Swing across the rope just like that annoying squirrel boy told you to. And done. You're probably wondering where my brain is right now. I am too. So I think we're gonna be coming back here. Can't open the door, so don't even try. First time I played this game when I was seven years old. I was trying to figure out how to open that door and go in there, and I sat there for three days trying to figure out that I'm not supposed to go through that door. That's how pretty bad I was at Pokemon, and I was pretty bad at Nintendo games. I couldn't figure out how to do Pokemon either. I ran around in the town on Pokemon Sapphire. I was running around in circles, in circles, in circles. Because that little girl says, No, there's scary monsters out there. You can't go there. Get on the ladder. Thank you. Yeah, I was pretty much stuck in that one. The first place you're supposed to go to. So, second spotlight. It's in the corner. And I don't think this place has a pot. So, do what Tetra says. And smack him with your shield. Bang. Now go grab his... Oh, I'm so glad I did not just say go grab his stick. Because that would have sounded pretty wrong. Anyway, go grab that Paco stick and smack the heck out of this guy. I wish we had the pot. Because the pot really takes a lot of life. Out of him. Oh, and there's the pot. Yeah. That, that, that really would have been a nice thing to know. Thanks for just totally... <laughs> yeah. Ah! Uh, I do not believe this. I have to go all the way back there. Ah! Uh, 